Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we're taking a look at the Dragon Blast Chariot Season 6, The Cubes. <laughs> so yeah, with the popularity of the 5-2 toys cubes that transform into pretty much anything and remains a cube, uh, the uh, Bla Dragon Blast Chariot uh, the kids TV show, I think it's a Filipino uh, kids TV show, uh, this is the Season 6 lineup of toys. And they've, uh, well, pretty much uh, uh, the, the, the whole show is about kids riding uh, dino robots and uh, resolving crimes or whatever. But uh, yeah, each season has its own gimmick, pretty much. Season 1 was just dinos that transform into robots. Season 2 was pretty much metal dinos that transform into robots. Uh, season 3, they were di dinos that transform into a cars. Uh, that transform well. That shot that shoots sort of like Beyblades thing. Um, uh, season four was dinos that transform into vehicles, trains, cars, stuff like that. And season five was dinos that transforms into weapons. So they transform into swords, spears, and stuff like that. And now season six, uh, the dinos transforms into cubes, robots, and uh, yeah. That's uh, that's it. The gimmick is now cubes. <laughs> so yeah, we have instructions right here. Instructions are pretty good. Uh, not much to say about them. Uh, one of the thing that really bothers me is that some some weapons fits into into cube modes, others don't. So that's really weird. It's inconsistent. But instruction always are pretty good. On one side, we have instructions from cube uh, to dinos. On the other side we have pretty much a summary of all the toys of the lineup and we have like a special looking one here that is glow in the dark. Uh, we have here the scanner code so we can go on the website. We have uh, past seasons so we have uh, season one or two whatever the dinos. We have uh, season three the Beyblade, season four the vehicle trains, season five the weapons. So yeah Kind of cool, and we have instructions for them all. Well, for each one of those, because they all are singles. So yeah, pretty cool. And yeah, like I said, they are uh, riding on the set, the the popularity of uh, the five two toys cubes. So they are just basic dinos that transform into cubes. But unfortunately, they are too big to fit in actual five two toys box chargers. So yeah, they are a bit too big. So yeah. I'm okay with that. They are not like 52 toys of the part of the 52 toys line. So, yeah. So we have right here the T-Rex. Says here, the Rex. <laughs> this is the T-Rex transformed into a cube. We have a nine kilo, a Bronto, and a Triceratops. So yeah, uh, plastic wise they feel eh, a bit cheap. They are uh, pretty hollow, but uh, still pretty solid. So if you want to give this to your kid, there won't be much problem with it. So, yeah, uh, nice paint details, pretty much all over the place, just decos, tempos, so, yeah. Transformation is very simple, first you need to pop the guns out. So this is the only one that has storage for the guns. So, yeah, pop the guns out, open up the um, uh, fin on the head, flip the head open, take the legs, Flip them out like this. Take the tail, bring it down, flip it out like this. Bring the legs down, adjust the feet, and you have the claws and the mouth. And there you go, you have T Rex all done. And it's pretty cute. It reminds me a lot of Dio with a different ish transformation. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You have couple of uh, stickers, well not stickers, it's paint, but mm, for the eyes, tails, feet, legs. The head can only move up and down, the mouth can open and close, the little claw can move like that, the legs can rotate, it's on a big soft ratchet. The legs can move here like this, like this, have this. So yeah, got a good range of movement. And as for the weapons, you can just take them, and there's a peg on the side of the leg. Plug them in here. 
And there you go, we have T-Rex all transformed into T-Rex mode, I guess. <laughs> Next up is the Ankylo, my favorite dinosaur. Again, Q mode, pretty cool. Now this one doesn't have any official storage, but I uh, played with it a little bit and I found that the he's got axes for weapon. The axe can store sort of like this. They don't hold, but they can hide there, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, transformation, again, very simple. You split this apart, close it in, close this, and flip it up like this. Flip the legs like this, and flip the leg, the, the, the foot. So, flip it like this. Flip it all the way around. There you go. And they are on very strong ratchets. And finally you have the tail right here. You split it open like this. Unfold it. And you have two holes on the side here so you can take the small hatchet and plug in like so. So it makes it a bigger hammer for the tail. And there you go. You have the Ankylo. I'll transform it and say he a e police. <laughs> yeah, kind of weird. A police and kilo. But like I said, it's part of the show. The kids are sort of like crime solvers. And yeah, uh, head can move up and down. Uh, legs can rotate, as you saw. The feet can also tilt. Not much at the tail, so going up and folding. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the ankylo. Down. Oink. Next up, we have the Brontosaurus. Now, again, this one has a weapon that I cannot just find a way to store at all. So, yeah, transformation very simple. You split the legs open, split the legs open like this, take the neck, unfold, unfold, rotate, and underneath you have a tail right here that you flip it open. And then uh, you can take the weapons and peg it on the back like this. And uh, voila, we have the Brothers Oars. And yeah, pretty cool. I like this one. Very simple, but effective. The, the mouth can open. I don't, I don't have much fingernails, but there you go. Nice looking. It can rotate, go up, down. You have the neck right here, up, down again. You can also rotate side to side. Uh, the legs can move forward, backward, but uh, yeah, it's very limited. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Brontosaurus. Move the camera a little bit up so we can see him. And finally, we have the Triceratops. So, yeah, again, this one doesn't have any storage for the weapon, or I haven't found any. I tried, but uh, yeah. Transformation, again, pretty simple. Uh, first off, detach the feet here from the face and then take the head and flip it down like this. Flip up the horns, take the legs, flip them down like this, adjust the feet. So flip them open like this, take the tail down and there you go, you have the Triceratops. Pretty cool, very cartoony. And for the weapons, uh, you can store them like this, make a bigger uh, protection, or you can just place it like this Oop, on the side, make some cannons. So that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Articulation, the head can only move up, down, the horns can be rotated, the mouth can open, legs can... Uh, rotate, but it's again super tight, and you have ankle tilt. So, yeah. uh. <laughs> very uh, tight, and the tail can only go up. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the first lineup. But, uh, yeah, in the TV show, uh, dinos transform well, the cubes transform into dinos. But in the TV show, they also transform into uh, humanoid robots. But as you can see, there's no space for the uh, humanoid uh, robots. So what they did, they just made a new line that transformed from cube to humanoid robots. 
let's check those out. So, yeah, the other lineup uh, of Robo of Cube going into uh, humanoid robots. And uh, yeah, we still have the same uh, theme of dinosaurs. So we still have the Ankylo, the T-Rex, the Brontosaurus, and the, the Triceratops. And now they just transform into sort of uh, humanoid robots. I guess we, we have instructions. Yeah, pretty good. Nothing, nothing really to mention about it. Uh, instructions are very nice, precise, and everything. Pretty cool, nothing against those. Uh, my only gripe, again, is that not all of them has storage for the weapon. Green has storage for his weapon. Um, Orange, uh, the, well, the Brontosaurus has storage for his weapon. Orange has storage, like here on the side, but it breaks a little bit the cube form. But we have storage, so, okay. Still interesting. The Ankylo has... Eh, not really storage, but uh, you have that. So yeah, I try to peg them like this. They don't. It doesn't work. The the, the peg is bigger, I guess. So you, you can only leave like that. So there's no storage for uh, the eight kilo. So oh, just went unpegged itself. No, oh, it's a. But uh, yeah, there's no really storage. It's just like that. And the red T-Rex has a sword, and the sword has absolutely no place to go. So, that's just an inconstancy that I really don't like about the set. Either you, have, either you should find a way to put all the weapons stored, or none at all. I wouldn't mind put make it constant, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Again, same size of the uh, storage box. They don't fit with the original Beast box. So, be wary of this. So, uh, we can do the transformation. So, let's start with the Ankylo. First, remove the weapon. And, uh, yeah. Uh, next up, we want to split apart these. So, you have to detach those from the tail. So, those are foot. Bring this down. Bring this down. Bring this down. Bring this down, like this. Next up, you want to flip this down. Flip this down and flip this up like this and then you bring the legs down bring the legs down unfold the heels unfold the toes like so bring the tail down rotate the waist all the way around this one is pretty involved so you have this configuration now Flip out the wrists, bring the arms down. Flip out the wrists, bring the arms down. And finally, you just have to flip the head. And there you go, we have the Ankylo, but in robot mode. Looks pretty interesting. You have the weapons, you can give him in his hand. Like so. The uh, weapons also have, uh, has like a side pin here but I don't know where it goes really there's no no storage area but there's a pin on the side which is pretty weird so yeah bring these down and you have weapons and yeah Hank you looks pretty damn cool we do have again the police badge here because the blue one has seems to be a police officer the tail can go up can go down legs can go forward backward can do the split got knee bend uh, the uh, foot can tilt doesn't go forward and back do have the toes that can go up and down arms uh, don't rotate which is I'm really disappointed but you do have whoops the arms rotate so not the shoulder but the arms and the elbow can bend so yeah and not much at the head beside going up down so, yeah, so we have the Inkilo in robot mode. Next up, the T-Rex. T-Rex is uh, the, the, the least favorite of mine because everything is just so loose in cube mode. There's nothing that pegs everywhere, anywhere. So, yeah. So, arms, flip them open, flip them open. Legs, you unfold them. Like this, 
unfold them like this and then continue to unfold bring the legs like this so legs like this unfold the heel there you go you have that configuration and bring the legs straight so you have that bring the head forward well up like this up like this and bring this down and you have torso all done arms all done and voila you have the sword you can give him his hand there you go and we have a t-rex all done t-rex a bit bigger than the others but uh, yeah, he's a bit looser also the arms are very loose a little bit we do have uh, going out a little bit butterfly joints we do have elbow joint uh, we do have wrist rotation the head doesn't go anywhere uh, we can also open the uh, crest here the mouth does open and close and we have also the sides spin thingy I do have uh, uh, legs can move forward backward it's very squeaky do have rotation of the upper thigh the knee can bend backward like this and not much at the feet so yeah they all have like this dino head as a robot humanoid thingy but uh yeah pretty cool so we have the t-rex and a kill done next up we have the brontosaurus so this one you remove the guns on each side which have official storage which is pretty cool I like that, but it's the only one. So, yeah. Next up, you unfold the feet like that, and you unplug them from the shoulders. Like this. Take the arms, bring them up like this, bring the legs down like this, unpeg them because they are really tight. You have the tail like this. Then you have the wrists underneath here to pop out, like this, and then you separate the arms here like that, and you grab the head by the crest and you pull it out, and there you go, we have the Bronto. You have the weapons, of course you can store them, or well, you can peg them, or you can also bring them on the side maybe, or yeah, just give him his arm. <laughs> But yeah, pretty damn cool. Again, nothing for the head articulation. The arms can rotate, can go up and down like this. No rotation of the elbow. Elbow can bend. Uh, nothing at the wrists, nothing at the waist. Legs are on nice ratchety. Go split like this, forward like this, backward like this. No rotation. Knee bends 90 degrees. Uh, Nothing at the um, at the feet, the toes can go up and down, that's it. And the tail can go up and down. So, yeah, I think he looks pretty cool though. He's very bulky. And finally we have the Triceratop. So we have tiny cute little swords here, like this. So pick them off. There we go. As for this one, uh... The legs need to be spread out like this and like this. Just spread out a little bit. Bring the tail down. And next up you need to open up the arms like this. Yeah, they peg in really secure, so yeah, open these up. Bring the legs down, legs down, flip the feet, well the toes, and the heels. Uh like that bring the arms back down like this like this and rotate them bring the fist unfold them like this and bring these spikes out so bring the fist out bring these spikes out and then you take the head and flip it all the way over like this and yeah there you go you can leave the tail like this if you want but there you go you have the triceratop you can give the sword in his hand, very tiny, almost like funny 
child size swords, but yeah. Very interesting. Arms can rotate, can go up and down like this. Uh, no rotation other than that. We do have a double joint for the elbow. Oop, the swords are not super solid. The legs can go up like this, back like this. No knee articulation, and the feet can tilt a little bit. Toes can go up and down. Head doesn't really move beside up. So, yeah, that's very limited for the articulation on this one. Damn it. All right, there you go. So, yeah, we have the robot modes now. Hold on. Let's move them so you can all see. And they are pretty interesting. I haven't seen the show, but yeah, they, they are pretty cool. I like the, the fact that they remain sort of like humanoids, but still has like the, the, the dino traits on it. Pretty cool. So, again, in the show now, they transform from cube to dinos, and they also transform to robot, but in the show, they also combine. <laughs> but... As you can see, there's no space, there's no room for combinations with the second or the first lineup. So what they did, they created a third lineup, which only combines into the figures. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty... I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at them. And here we have the third lineup of the Dragon Blast Chariot Season 6. <laughs> so yeah, I personally think it's a a bit lazy design to just make three different lineup of the three different modes they can transform. It's easy, lazy, you know, but eh, it's still just for small children. So yeah, we have instructions for each individual transformation. Uh, yeah, for uh, two robots like these two combines together and the, these two combines together. So we have two giant robots. Instructions are pretty good. Again, no complaints. So, yeah, so we have the Ankylo that pairs up with the T-Rex and the Brontosaurus pairs up with the Triceratops. Now, uh, another thing that really bothers me again, uh, weapons for uh, these two all stores into cube mode, but the weapons for these two doesn't, so. Yeah, very, very it's just inconsistent. In, 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 it does it doesn't you know there's there's no it just doesn't follow like it just this is just lazy design I think. Like why bother storing the weapons on one but yeah it doesn't work with the other? Screw it. It's just disappointing, but yeah, whatever. Still for kids. So, uh, let's start with uh, the T-Rex and the Ankylo transformation. Now this one has the weapon stored in here and, as you can see, it doesn't store really well. It just drops in and that's it. <laughs> there you go. And it doesn't hold, so, yeah, but that's the, the official spot. Instructions really do tell you to go th place it there. So, yeah, you have the pistol, can flip, cool pistol. All right, <laughs> so the ankylo transform into legs. So you close this panel, close this panel, unpeg, and unpeg from the waist. There you go. Unpeg the leg, unfold this, unfold this, and just unfold the legs. There you go. Unfold the feet, and in the back you have the heels. There you go. And we have the pair of legs. Now for the T-Rex, we have these weapons that are stored here on the side. Remove them. Uh, this one, you have this skirt that you flip down. These skirt that you flip down again. Arms rotate on the side. Bring them on the side like this, like this, rotate them. You have these white thing that you bring on the side like this. And then you have the arms and you flip the wrist out. There you go. We have one arm, 
rotate, slide this down, flip the wrists, and there you go. Finally for the head, you just press on this and flip the whole head over, uh, around, and there you go. Now you have the peg right here underneath, and you can peg this in here. There we go, we have the combined robot mode with T-Rex and Ankylo. Uh, I can't see much. Put the camera up a little bit. The cannons right here goes on the shoulders, so they peg in the back right here, like this. And the other one here, like this. As for the pistol, where I can hold it. So there we go. We have one robot complete, and it looks pretty decent. Uh, the head doesn't move, arm can rotate, go side to side, rotate at the bicep, we have an elbow joint, we have a butterfly joint, uh, we don't have much waist rotation, if you lift the skirt, uh, the leg can go forward, if you lift the skirt, can go backward, and can do the split, we do have a double knee joint, which is pretty decent, and nothing at the uh, ankles so yeah still pretty decent yep yep so we have this as for the bronto and the triceratops the bronto will do the legs so unfold this like this unfold this completely unpeg them bring this all the way forward bring this back like this and this forward so bring this forward flip the toes bring the heels and then you just flip the waist there you go we have feet that's what he tries to top on full this and this like that flip this open flip this open bring this to the side like this like this in the back right here, you flip this open, you have the head reveal, flip it out, close it back in, and yeah, you can flip the horns, and you're pretty much done. Now you have again this connector here, which will plug in here, and there you go, you have transformation all done. You have the weapon also, which doesn't store anywhere, you can flip it down, it makes a big cannon. Of course you can hold it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, the wrist flipped. I want to go in. There you go. <laughs> so that's it. You have the combination all done. Again, this one head doesn't move. Arm can rotate. Can go side to side like this. Rotation of the bicep. Rotation of the wrists. You do have some sort of claws here, which are interesting, really nice. Do have waist rotation for this one. Leg can go up like this if you close the a knee, bat, knee pad and go back. If you flip this out, you can go out. Knee bends 90 degrees. Uh, we do have some ankle tilt. And it can also move up and down with the toes and the heels. So this one has a little bit more articulation. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Now one thing that I was really curious is do they mix up? And the answer is eh, partially yes, <laughs> partially. So by that I mean only the blue and the yellow can connect. So you flip, separate them. The blue and the yellow has no skirt or anything, so they can plug, but as you can see, it is wobbly. But the other one won't connect because it's like skirt and skirt together, so they don't, they don't connect at all. So no matter if you try to move the skirt around, it won't, it won't peg because the, the other one has also a wide skirt, so only these two can combine, but again, wobbly. So, yeah. <laughs> Still, very interesting lineup for the Dragon Blast Chariot Sis. Uh, I like all the concept of the cube in the uh, foreground. You know, the foreground. Like, uh, the, the, they all transform into cubes. 
but then they all have different modes. I just think it's a little bit the lazy design where they can't all do the three triple change. Like one cube transform into a dino that transform also into a robot that can also combine. That would have been amazing. But I understand the limitation and it's only for a kids show, uh, kids toys. So yeah, <laughs> still pretty interesting. And I'm just gonna try and put them all back together. Real quick, there you go. But yeah, they, uh, I'm still quite surprised. Some are fun. They're pretty cool. Plastic quality is like, yeah, it, it feels uh, knockoff E a bit, but it's still like very solid plastic. So you can give those to a small child. They, they probably won't break it. It's very solid. So thumbs up for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty it for me. So uh, yeah, I got this from SiriToys.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you're interested. To me, it's a high recommend. It's pretty cool, especially for small children. They are fun. And uh, yeah, if you also love the 5-2 uh, Toys Beast Box uh, concept, uh, they're pretty cool, pretty interesting. they very different, more for smaller children, but still pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty it for me. So you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.